my fellow gamers and welcome to the October edition of Game Release News. Why am I dressed as Wonder Woman you ask? Well, I would like to say it's because October is the month of Halloween and Halloween means dressing up as slutty as possible, but I was just recording a video where I was sent this costume and I decided it would be oh so apropos for this video. Anyway, let's jump right into it. October has a ton of new releases, a lot of mainstream releases, and a lot of PlayStation VR because it's coming out on the 13th. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start telling you all of the awesomeness that's coming to gaming this October 2016. Also, I'm sorry this video is a little bit late, but nothing's coming out until the 3rd anyway, so no loss there, right? Let's go. The first game we have is one of the only indie games of the month and it is entitled Super Mixtape. This is an adorable retro style physics based game where you guide a mixtape cassette across a quote fully reversible 2D world. Puzzles, epic beats, what's not to love? Release date is the third on PC early access. One of the things I'm really excited about this month is coming to the current gen consoles we have Atari Flashback Classics Volumes 1 and 2. Each volume has 50 games, everything from Asteroids, Code Breaker, Red Baron Street Racer, Outlaw, Desert Falcon, and even things like Centipede have the arcade versions and the regular console versions. It's really cool. Totally comprehensive and every game is remastered for the current gen consoles. Definitely looking forward to that one because even though I am a little bit too young to have been around when the Atari came out, I definitely played a lot of Atari on hand-me-down consoles for my parents. Release date is the 4th on PS4 and Xbox One. Warhammer The End Times Verminitide this is an online only first person shooter set in the universe of Warhammer. The game features multiple roles in which you can play while warding off the evil Scraven. Something interesting about this game is that there are no loadouts, you roll dice to determine your weapons. Release date is the 4th on PS4 and Xbox One. This game has already been out for a few years on PC. Earth's Dawn. This is a pretty cool 2D side scroller hack and slash game with role playing elements. It's a Japanese game and is focused on an alien invasion. These aliens can only be hurt by weapons from their own species, so scientists created this special alien killing group. Badass. Release date is the 4th on PS4 and Xbox One. Shoo, so cute. I cannot get enough of the graphics of this game. So adorable. This is described as a 2.5D side scroller with hand drawn characters. A storm develops in your village and you have to escape before becoming trapped. Just look at this game. Ugh. Release date is the 4th on PC. PS4 and Vita versions will be coming sometime in 2016. Mortal Kombat XL for PC. Mortal Kombat XL is finally coming to PC this month with both of the combat packs, 8 new characters, and all skins and fatalities. It took a while to come to PC, but if you're a fan of this game and you play it on PC, it's definitely worth getting the full experience. I'll be grabbing it as well, as I've never bought any of the combat packs. Release date is the 4th on PC. Rocksmith's 2014 edition remastered. This free downloadable update is coming for the 2004 Rocksmith this month. The retail versions will also be available at this time. The game is faster than ever and features 6 new songs as well. Release date is the 4th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Laser Disco Defenders This is a cute little game based on Laser Disco where the bullets you shoot stay in the level and can damage you and your opponents. Looks fun and I love their little Jetsons-esque drawing of a PS Vita. Release date is the 4th on PS4. Blade and Soul, Evan Drake Citadel Blade and Soul is getting a new endgame dungeon this month as well as an arena spectator mode. Play through the Evan Drake Citadel with either 4 or 6 members and jump into 1v1 arena matches from spectator view to watch your friends and your favorite players battle. Release date is the 5th on PC. Block Blockpocalypse this is a multiplayer party platformer about surviving an apocalypse with your friends. Up to four players fight their way across a 2D pixelated world. This looks great. I'll definitely be checking this one out. Release date is the sixth on PC Early Access. Paper Mario Color Splash. Mario's got a new paint hammer and needs to bring color back to Prism Island. I don't know, I haven't played all of the new Mario games, but I love the Paper Mario franchise. I've been playing them since GameCube, so I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. Release date is the seventh on Wii U. Adam Wolf. Okay, so this looks like one of those games that could either be cool or complete shit. This guy Adam who investigates occult crimes is being haunted by the disappearance of his sister. He has demons trying to attack him while he's looking for his sibling. You have a six shooter and the game is described as a psychological thriller, so it has its merits, I'm sure. Release date is the 7th on PC. The Silver Case HD Remaster. This was a Japanese PS1 game from 1999 and now it's remade for Western PC gamers. There's an area called 24 Districts that has been plagued by bizarre murders. The police track these murders back to a long dead assassin and have to discover whether it's a copycat or he's come back to life. Might be cool, I like the graphics and I expect a lot of English, which is always funny. Release date is the 7th on PC. Mafia 3 Post all of the Vietnam conflict, Lincoln Clay is back home and set to escape his criminal past, but he's being pulled back by a surrogate family, the Black Mob. Anyway, there are gunfights, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and a mobile game that will be released with it this month as well. Release date is the 7th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. A 100 foot robot golf. 
Have you hated golf games like I have since Hot Shots Golf on the PS1? Well, how about a hundred foot robots playing golf? Okay, that sounds playable, but seriously, I think I might actually try this. Release date is the 10th on PS4. Duke Nukem 3D 20th Anniversary World Tour. Oh my god, frag like it's 1996. Their quote, not mine. This is the ultimate 20th anniversary world tour and I will definitely be playing. I look forward to kicking ass and saving bitches. Man, retro first person games were so much better than modern ones. Release date is the 11th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Here's a big one, Gears of War 4. Gears of War 4 is coming to the Xbox One this month. This game needs no introduction. This is the new generation of the badassery that is the third person shooter, Gears of War. Release date is the 11th on the Xbox One. Rise of the Tomb Raider, Blood Ties. Explore Laura's childhood home and discover the secrets of the Croft family. In this new chapter, you'll get to defend against the zombie invasion called Laura's Nightmare. Seems like this is one of those worth it extra content bundles. In addition, Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 Year Celebration Edition is also available on the 11th. This includes VR support and the new Blood Ties content. Release date is the 11th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. WWE 2K17 This is the new WWE game for the year published by 2K Sports. Not much else to say, these come out every year. Get it if you're interested. Release date is the 11th on PS3, PS4, 360, and Xbox One. Dragon Quest Builders Look, it's Minecraft Dragon Quest Edition. All of Guard plunged into darkness generations ago, but now I hear chosen by the goddess herself has arisen and is ready to return the power to the people of Olive Guard. You have to rebuild, scavenge, and quest to do so. Release date is the 11th on PS3, PS4, and PS Vita. Metal Gear Solid 5, the definitive experience. Because addition is too meta of a word. This game is an experience, not a game. Well, it is MGS, so I can't really argue with that. This bundle includes the Phantom Pain and Ground Zeroes, as well as all of the DLC content. Worth the buy if I didn't have the collector's editions already. Release date is the 11th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And now a big one this month that isn't necessarily a game, but has spawned many games, the PlayStation VR. PlayStation VR is out this month, so expect a bunch of new VR games and DLC. I'm excited to try this out, but I would still rather get an Oculus Rift. Release date is the 13th on PS4. Star Wars Battlefront X-Wing VR Mission. So this is one of those VR things I was talking about, a special VR mission allowing you to pilot an X-Wing. It's supposed to feel super authentic, and if it is, that is pretty cool. Release date is the 13th on PS4 VR. Batman. Arkham VR. Another VR installment, this actually looks like a really cool one. You get to pretend to be Batman, basically. Use his weapons and unveil the intricacies of a mission that quote, threatens the lives of his closest allies. I'm curious about this one for sure. The PlayStation VR games and missions actually seem pretty interesting. Release date is the 13th for PlayStation 4 VR. Hypercube! This is another VR experience for those of you wanting something more relaxing. You rotate through cubes and clusters in an endless analog world. Probably better whilst high. Release date is the 13th on PlayStation 4 VR. Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. More VR, but this one's kind of weird. It's like a shooter based in the Until Dawn world, and I just recently finished Until Dawn. Other than the mine carts and the creepiness, it doesn't really seem too related. I think they just wanted to release something with the hype of the VR. I would replay the whole game in VR, however. That would be cool. Release date is the 13th on PS4 VR. Manual Samuel. What the hell is this game? This is about a rich daddy's boy named Samuel who's never had to work a day in his life, and then all of a sudden is forced to live manually for 24 hours after a deadly encounter with a septic tank. Confused? Well, it's basically like a Christmas carol for the modern privileged white male. I like the craziness of the graphics. Release date is the 11th on PS4 and the 14th on PC and Xbox One. Reus or Rouse or Rouse. Not sure. This game came out three years ago on PC, but now it's on the current gen consoles. It's cute and you control powerful giants with the power to reshape the world. The world is your sandbox and you're free to make mountains, enrich plants and animal life, but there's one thing you can't control in this world, and that's humans. Pretty interesting premise. Release date is the 14th on PS4 and Xbox One. Disney Magical World 2, my happy life. A new edition of the Disney Life Simulator game on the 3DS is coming out this month. Not too much else to say. If you're bored and have a 3DS, this game might help you out for just a little bit. Release date is the 14th on the 3DS. Skylanders Imaginators! Use the power of imagination to create your own Skylanders and battle chaos in the army of Doomlanders. Skylanders is cute, but they definitely pander too much to children. I guess if you're like me and you never grew up, check this out this month. Release date is the 16th on PS3, PS4, Wii U, 360, and Xbox One. Batman Return to Arkham. This is a re-imaged edition of Arkham Asylum and Arkham City for current gen consoles. These are my two favorite Batman games and I recommend playing them and getting them this month. Also, it has all of the DLC. Release date is the 18th on PS4 and Xbox One. Rock Band Rivals. This expansion brings new features to Rock Band 4. Join crew 
cruise and improve your skills in a new campaign mode. And you can participate in weekly online challenges. You can even play synchronous online multiplayer with your friends. It's actually a pretty decent addition of content if you're a Rock Band 4 player. Release date is the 18th on PS4 and Xbox One. A Quiver of Crows! This is probably my favorite game of the month, despite there being tons and tons of epic games on this list. You have to vanquish the souls of the Heartless as a crow with lots of abilities. It's got this awesome silhouette graphics style that reminds me of Patapon. I must try this. Release date is the 19th on Linux, PC, and Mac. Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 is coming out this month. Wait, what? Oh, because you're going back in time to World War I? Okay, sure. Anyway, so if you love the franchise, you should check out this game. This will probably be one of the biggest releases of the month for you guys, as it seems it was thoroughly hyped at PAX. Enjoy! Release date is the 21st on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Sid Meier's Civ 6. Sid Meier's Civ 6. Try to say that 10 times fast. Civ 6 is coming out this month, and it features new ways to engage with your world. Cities now physically expand across the map, you can research technology to unlock new potential, and you can compete against other leaders for fun. Five different ways to win. This franchise is pretty solid. I'd definitely buy it. Release date is the 21st on PC. Darksiders War Mastered Edition. The new War Mastered Edition, clever I guess, is coming to most consoles this month. War is a fucking badass and if you haven't played or checked out this game yet, this is the best way to. I love the Darksiders franchise and definitely recommend it if you like hack and slash type games with puzzles that sort of reminds you of God of War. Release date is the 25th on PC, PS4, Wii U, and Xbox One. Dark Souls 3 Ashes of Ariandel. Yes! Oh my Oh my god, new Dark Souls 3 expansion. I lied, this is my favorite release of the month. The expansion unlocks a new environment called the Land of Ariandel. I really, really need to continue my playthrough now. Release date is the 25th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. The second Xenoverse is coming out this month as well. Damn, so many fucking titles. Join the Time Patrol and enjoy appearances from characters like Brawly. So dreamy. And with new and more powerful forms. Release date is the 25th on consoles and 28th on PC. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy is coming to PS4 and Vita this month. I've always wanted to play this game. The Vivi and Cloud chibis are unbelievably cute. Oh my god, and look at the Cactuar too. Now that I have a Vita, I am definitely getting this one. Release date is the 25th on PS4 and Vita. Titanfall 2. Return to the futuristic battlefield and call in Titans to support you in combat in the next Titanfall expansion this month. Not much else to report on this one. Titanfall looks like one of the coolest first person games I never play. Release date is the 28th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. So I know this might be crazy, but I have never played Skyrim. I actually think the remastered version is going to get me to start. I wonder how many hundreds of hours I'll accrue. Release date is the 28th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Alright guys, post in the comments which games you're going to be buying this month. I feel as if a lot of you guys are going to be going broke and then not having enough money for the holiday season and all the games that come around that time as well. I, as of tomorrow, will be recovering from new breast augmentation surgery. I'm getting my boobs replaced, so wish me luck and I'm going to be playing a lot of games during my recovery. Alright guys, I love you and I will see you next month with a new game release news. Oh, and by the way, there will be a giveaway, actually two giveaways down in the description. One for Battlefield 1 on PC and one for Quiver of Crows on PC. All you have to do is click the link and follow the instructions to sign up. Good luck guys, I do giveaways every single month on my game release news and I'm doing two this month because I forgot last month. I hope you guys enjoy these videos, please like the video and subscribe if you do. Post in the comments anything you have to say, whether it's critiques, opinions, your favorite games, your least favorite games, I want to hear from you guys. Also let me know what you think of me as Wonder Woman. Mwah! Love you and see you in a month for for the November, my birth month, game release news. Bye, happy gaming, and winning of games. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give away Skyrim Remastered. I know a lot of you guys probably want it. Enjoy.